All right, so uh, yesterday we looked at, uh, two days ago, we looked at, uh, we were looking at CSS selectors. And so just do a little bit of a review here, and then we'll move in, into uh, looking at like nth child stuff and uh, some really cool t typography things you could do with selectors and, uh, and then nesting selectors. So, um, so we're going to learn more about CSS selectors. And we saw that there's a rule set. Rule set has a selector selectors. It has a declaration block, and a declaration block has declarations, and declarations are made up of property and value pairs, key value pairs, property values. And so uh, we saw that some of the selectors we could use in a rule set are like an element selector, a class selector, an ID selector. So the class, you have a class like, you know, Surfer Girl, that could be used as many times as you want on an HTML page. You could say, hey, this H1 has class surfer girl. You could say this paragraph has class surfer girl. Then if you had a ID uh, cowgirl, you could only use that ID once on a page. It could apply to one element, right? So you just say, hey, here's the attribute ID. It's equal to cowgirl on the HTML. Or you say, here's the class, the attribute class. It's equal to surfer girl, right? So that's a element, class, and ID selectors. Then we saw there's an attribute selector. So all HTML elements have attributes. Like the link element has the href attribute. The image uh, element has the uh, source. <laughs> image is source. Link is href. And then uh, background has URL. And uh, so link href image source background in CSS is URL. There's one more that was uh, throwing us off. That what is it? Image background link anchor. Anchor's got href, right? There we go. So uh, so that's a uh, element class ID, and uh, so then we we saw attribute selectors, right? So we could say Select anything that has the method attribute. Select anything that has the method attribute equal to post. And we just put those in square brackets, right? And uh, and so just so you see the attribute selector again, so that's square in your mind. Right here, it's selecting anything with the attribute content editable. Here, you know, it's con source or href. Anything with that attribute. Here, it's target equal blank. Anything with that attribute. All right, so target equal blank got selected there. Close all those, and uh, let's just look at that because maybe we'll make a code adjustment here. But uh, so target blank became red, and that was applied to HTTP Google, and that's red. Cool, and uh, and that's target blank there with quotes, and here no quotes. Let's put quotes around it and see what happens. That's what I was wondering, all right? And uh, and let's do it again. Still red. So I'd go for more, being more specific as opposed to less. I'm going to leave that change. So there's an attribute selector, and then we looked at pseudo classes. Ooh, what's a pseudo class? It's just like a whole. It's another name, right? And uh, a class. What we know about classes so far is, hey, uh, you know, there's IDs and there's classes. So why is it called a pseudo class? Uh, I don't know, right? Pseudo class. Anybody have an idea? Because it's not technically a class; it just serves the same purpose. Maybe. I'm just trying to reason it out myself right now. Ask my ask questions sometimes. I don't always have the answer for. <laughs> right? But uh, yeah. So any anchor with a focus. So many different anchors could you know, have focus, and then that would be applied. So maybe, maybe that's why they call it pseudo class, because it could be applied many different times. Um, so, uh, so here, what that does, right, we have link, the different, the li different one, we have link, visited, hover, active. I don't know which one I just opened. So the link one, Right? So they have to be in that order. Love, ha. Love to laugh. Link, visited, hover, active. 
and uh, otherwise they stop working the way it's intended. So that's kind of interesting, but you just need to put them in that order in your CSS. Link, visited, hover over it, change it, active, and, uh, and then you change the color. So that's kind of cool because it gives the rollover effect, right? All right, and, uh, and then we had focus. So link, visit, hover, active. What's the difference between focus and active? Focus means that like I've tabbed to it and like if I'm in a form, I'm in that form field or if it's an element, I've tabbed to that element. Active means link, visit, hover, active. I'm actively clicking down on it. So here's an example of that. All right, I'm gonna hit tab and now that's got focus. And so focus went to this dark blue, but when I click it, it goes to that gold color. It goes to that gold color. So that's active. All right, any questions about that? So the next thing we're going to look at is like uh, some nth child's selectors. And so here are some examples of those. First child, last child, nth child even, nth child odd, uh, zebra striping, in child n, in last child, in child a n plus b, only child. So let's take a look at these examples. So here we have ul's and li's, and we're saying any li which is the first child make it red. So woohoo and yahoo are going to be red. First child. And then we have last child. And so Yaya and Wawa would be red with last child. Okay? Not that one. Yaya and Wawa. Last child, they're red. Got it? In child even. Which ones are going to be red? Even numbers. Those and quattro. Second and fourth. And then we have in child odd. And we have zebra striping. And so zebra striping, we're saying, hey, make all the even, even ones a certain color and all the odd ones another color. That's cool. That was like a really big deal to be able to do that back in 2002. And then we have in child in. So you can just say, hey, in child number three. So this is going to make the third one red. So first child, last child, nth child even, nth child odd, uh, nth child n, right, which is like this, nth child just the number, or nth child it's odd, the odd ones, right, or nth first child or last child, okay, so that's kind of like the syntax on it. And then we have uh, nth last child. I don't know why part of my brain still wants to make this hard where it's totally easy. But I guess the nth dash last dash child or nth dash child parens and the number or even or odd. I guess you know there's just like a couple of pieces to remember there. Does that make sense? Anybody else kind of feel your brain kind of going huh a little bit on this one? Yeah. You? Anybody else? Yeah. yeah I don't know why right but it's just like I guess there's just a couple instead of like one word, you know, where it's like uh, like border radius and then just round it around to whatever you want, you know. It's like nth dash child paren, put in even, put in odd, put in the number. Nth dash last dash child. So what's going to, this one, what's going to happen with this one? Nth 
last child, 10. I think it comes up from the bottom, 10. You already ran it? Yeah, it came up from the bottom. It goes from the, from the bottom, go up 10. So from the last child, go up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that one's uh, nth last child. So you could get it from the bottom. What would be the, the opposite of this from the top? No, nth child. <laughs> just nth child, just from the top. <laughs> right? That was nth child, then put in the number. Just take out last, and it's giving us 10 from the top. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was a little bit. I got excited. Didn't even startle you. And then we have nth child a n plus b. And this is where you could do what you're talking about, like where you say, hey, how often? And uh, so try changing the selector to select each of the following. So this is going to say, hey, n plus 2. So this will give me 3n plus 2. I think it's a, let's see what it does, and we'll figure it out. I haven't looked at this recently enough. What do you mean it's not found? How's that not found? <laughs> Why would that not be found? Now we've got troubleshoot this for a second. Is this one found? That one's found. So why is this one not found? What's the difference between these pages? There is no difference. And this one is linked to CSS, main, and that's main. We've got comment. What's the CSS on this one? Pretty much similar. And we have a UL through LI. And then there's a comment here in child 3n plus 2. Eh? Let's close Chrome. Let's close Gogland. Let's start. Gogland because it's like looking into eternity. Let's do this again. Why? HTML, CSS Bootcamp, 19206, 8th and child, AN plus B index. Uh, so it must not like something in the naming. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to rename this one. Yeah, maybe, right? I'm going to rename this one. Just A and B. Announced it. There it is. Didn't like the plus. Uh, so that started 2, 5, 8, 11. So here's where you say, hey, start at 2 and then go up by 3. All right. So 2, 5, 8, 11. So if we wanted 8, 18, 28, 38, what do we need to change that to? Here's what it used to be. What do we need to change it to to get 8, 18, 28, 38? Start at 8 and go up by 10. 8, 18, 28, 38. 8, 18, 28, 38. What if we wanted 9, 12, 15, 39? 
Start at nine, go up by three. Three, twelve, twenty-one. Start at three. Go up by nine. Three, twelve, twenty-one, thirty. 39. Kind of cool, right? That was easy once we got over the plus sign. And then we have only child. Select only child. So any article that's only child will make it red. So this is the only child. All right, so just to review those, we have first child. We should have like a readme list. We're going to make this better right now. We have like first child. And then we have last child. And then we have nth child even. And then we have nth child odd. And then we have in child n, some number, and we have from the end, all right, come out that from the end, and then we had this deal. And then we add only child. Does that help to see them all like that? That helps me. <laughs> all right. Cool. OK, so I'll push this up. And if you're watching this video online, you can find all that at a GitHub. Goes to 11. Repositories, HTML, CSS, bootcamp. And that was all under selectors, CSS selectors. So we are in 19 CSS selectors. And uh, it was a uh, pseudo class, 05 pseudo class. So that's where you'll find that. And if you want to take this whole course, you can find that at Greater Commons, which is for the greater common good. HTML and CSS right there. It's awesome. It's only $20. You'll be a rock star coder. <laughs>